In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to think like a millionaire. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Max Simon, and I'm so glad you're here. Last week, my friend Marsha sent in a question saying, how do I become a millionaire entrepreneur? And I thought this was a really fascinating question because there's lots of ways to make money in business. And so how could I possibly create a video that answers that question? But then it got me thinking about the real reason why myself and so many of our friends makes millions of dollars, and I realized it's the way you think that's different and unique that allows you to generate that kind of income. So in today's video, I'll give you five unique ways of thinking that will help you become a millionaire. Point number one, give first, ask second. I can't tell you how many people approach me and want to request money or request donations or request to work with me or something like that and they haven't given anything first. Somebody who creates great wealth always asks the question, how can I give first and then ask second? How do I create something of value first and then ask for the business, the money, second? Give first. Ask second. The second point is to go after opportunities. Don't wait for them to magically come to you. You see, the most successful people I know, the ones that generate millions, they're constantly looking for what they need to learn, who they need to partner with, where they need to go, instead of just sitting back and waiting for things to magically unfold. Be willing to seek out the learning, the opportunities, the uh, ways of generating income that you feel excited about and aligned with rather than just sitting around hoping that something will magically shift on its own. Number three, collaborate with people who are smarter than you. Now that doesn't mean that you're unintelligent, I just mean that you have a unique area of genius, something that you are great at. And that means that there are other people who have unique areas of genius that are different than yours. People who generate a lot of income collaborate with other people in their areas of genius and do what they do best as well. That way you come together and can create this like super force of people who get better results and make bigger things happen in the world. The fourth point is to fire quickly. And I'm not just talking about in business. I mean to let go of the relationships that are not serving you, not moving you forward, not helping you to expand and grow as an individual. So much of the time we're in relationships, professionally and personally, that are just sucking our energy away and not really fulfilling us, helping us get that much better results. Fire quickly. The most successful people I know, they let go of those relationships the moment they realize it's not working out and begin to seek out those relationships that will help them grow and expand and get better results. And the fifth and potentially most important point to become a millionaire is to invest in your future. So many people think that you just magically start making all this money, but the reality is you invest in what's coming next. Invest in the people to help you launch that next program. Invest in the learning to get the specialized knowledge you need. Invest in what's coming next. My friend and mentor, John Asraf, used to say it's the same thing with real estate. You invest in the land and invest in the resources to build the real estate that you will once sell. It's the same thing for you and your business. So those are my five tips for becoming a millionaire, thinking differently about the way you operate in the world. I'd love to hear yours. What are some tips or ways of thinking that have really helped you make more money or be more successful in the world? Leave a comment below. And of course, the best training to grow your business and your income happens over at bigvisionbusiness.com. Head on over there right now, sign up to be part of our tribe, and get more of our advanced training. And finally, if you have a question that you'd love for me to answer in one of the next episodes, 
post that as a comment right below as well and maybe I'll get to it in one of the next ones. All right, have a great day. All my love to you.